Hello everyone, this is Augie here and this is a unboxing. Uh, first thing that you notice is it's in the box, it's black. Wow, I didn't know this. So we're gonna open it. And this is the Gemini um, Tron 5.5. So, okay, here we go. This is the green one, the Gemini. And the red one is the Orion. So this is the uh, upper frames. Okay. Upper frames. All right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, look at that. Okay. Let me see. This is the um, battery tray. It comes with two battery trays. Let me open that so you guys can see. I don't think you notice that, but battery trays on the on the trons are actually aluminum they slide very easily they have this lock which uh, makes uh make uh, when you slide it's, it's very smooth you know slides and locks so it's a second one here okay okay uh there's the boom here the gemini is the green one oh this is tight okay gemini performance helicopter and the um, tail push rod, nice color, I love it. It looks really good in person. It brings some light here so you guys can see it better. So it has a performance helicopter and very nice finish, really good. So should we go here or here? This is the canopy and these are the parts. Ah, let's open the canopy. Just to see that kind of because the one that I have nobody has seen it apparently because uh, they never publish the final version it was always uh, uh, so this is the actual first time that we have a canopy here and here it is so this one is I love the uh, the look of the new look of that weird canopy and that's why I ordered it from the Gemini okay so here is the canopy let me move this away a little bit so we can see it guys this thing is absolutely gorgeous it's like a transformer and look at that it's gorgeous man I'm so glad that I ordered this one instead of the of the Orion man this thing looks great Look at that, it looks fantastic, wow. The colors are so bright. It's a neon, neon uh, uh, green and neon blue. Nice, I really like, and this uh, uh, glossy finish is beautiful. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that thing, fantastic work on the canopy. Very high quality as always very nice and this thing looks i, I mean I, I actually it looks better than, than what i thought i mean i'm looking at this thing in different angles and it's just absolutely gorgeous man this thing looks it's like a like it's straight out of an anime japanese anime you know transformer beautiful all right so we got the canopy and the boom so we already got the the platform part out so let's get the actually let's put that here and start bringing the, the boxes here okay uh this one is empty i think it's just a spacer yeah that's it and, and uh obviously there is uh the um blade holder okay that's wrong blade holder so we got that I don't know if you guys know what this is for. You know, some people don't know. This is so you can put uh, a rubber band around this little, it's an old school trick that we used to have in most helicopters. Uh, because when this wears out and starts being, you know, not as strong, you can always use a uh, um, rubber band and use it with, the, with that. So, yeah, cool stuff. All right, so let's get with the uh, this stuff here. Which, by the way, 
Oh, here you go. Here's the lower frames. These are different, by the way, between the um, the Orion and the um, Gemini. They have different shapes, and uh, I think that also the locations of the of the two pins. I remember we had to at uh, uh, in Germany at the Rotor Live we had to change something like the this one to a different hole or something like that. I, I'm not sure. So they are slightly different, you know. So it's like a different flavor. It's like this is more a, like a transformer type, more like modern and crazy looking. And the other one is more traditional, you know. And it's, uh, both are beautiful actually. Now, you gotta be like crazy when you see how they fly. Um, this is one of the things that I like the most about this new kit. Let me open this thing. You're gonna like it too. This is a massive gear. Look at the main gear. By the way, for those that are complaining about manuals and everything, I mean, this thing comes built. The only thing you need to do is unscrew, put some Loctite, put it back up, back again. So look at this thing, it's massive. I mean, this is an exacto. Look at the size of that thing. It's massive. And, uh, uh, on the, on, you know, the, I, I fly my 5.5, the, the previous one, and it has a smaller one. So I had to like do full contact on the, on those, cause the way I fly, it's, it's, it's a lot of power, you know. Um, last time we were doing 307 amps on that thing and, and six cells. So yeah, this is now the quality. Look at the quality of that, of that. The machining and the finish is, it's, shiny and it's amazing how good the quality is and the quality of this cnc machine i mean look at the details you know the details of all this uh machined you know the holes i mean everything is spotless perfect look at that it's beautiful stuff you know so this is the main uh, gear super beefy landing gear same landing gear these things are strong I was doing those like touching, you know, and then touch again and touch again and they were like boom, boom and they never break. And uh, in other helis I, I sometimes break them. That one and on, on this one and on the on the raw. The raw is another one that is uh it's a it's a tank, you know, the 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 landing gear. These are the Tron um uh, themed uh, battery uh, straps from two of those. Then uh, we have also the fin. That fin is beautiful in person. Because it, it is like, see what I'm all saying? It's, it's like a transformer style. It's beautiful. Look at that. It goes really well with the, with the see that? And it's uh, pretty awesome. You have no idea how excited I am with this thing. Because I, I mean, if you saw it flying, you will be like, oh yeah. So, okay, so here's the head. Okay. The head is here, so we have the um, the five uh, 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 turnbuckles with its um, uh, bow links, okay? We have the shaft with the um, collar, okay? And the washer here, you know, the brass washer, so it, it sits on the on the upper bearing there. This is the head. Let's see. As you can see, again, people are worried about manuals. The manual is not like it's horrible. No, it isn't. It is simply, um, uh, uh, you know, you, you just don't download it from from the website on a PDF format. Now, I mean, let's let's look at this thing close. Look at the finish of these parts. I mean, this thing is spotless, you know? Fantastic finish. The quality is just insane quality. You know? Um, the, uh, um, what do you call this thing? The um, uh, head block here uh, comes with this uh, pivot here. As you know, on the magic dampeners, we don't use that because we use a different uh, method, different principle, but these are good too. 
you know, these, uh, these are really good uh, dampeners. I, I don't know if they're ones that we have for the magic ones. Uh, if they are, if they don't, if, it, if we don't have uh, these ones, I will just make uh, versions for that. So, uh, but I mean, look at that thing. It's just, it's everything with these kits is like such a high quality kit. Everything is so high quality. I mean, the finish, the, the machining, there's no marks. Dimensions are perfect. I mean, I just can't get enough of these things. And I have a bunch of them. And um, that dynamic is my favorite one. I mean, look at this, this beauty. Look at this thing. It's absolute beauty. Look at the quality of this machine. It's, it's it's shiny, no no machine marks, nothing. It's like it's gorgeous stuff, you know, real 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 nice. And uh, they have this is a new a new flash plate that they made for something about the ratios or something like that. Um, so I haven't really asked. These are the obviously the pitch arms. Um, Alright, so let's see what else we have here. We have the servo mounts. Okay, by the way, these things come for uh, mini servos. By the way, I don't know if you know this. This is an important thing that I need, uh, that I think people should should know. If you look at the mini servos, you know, the ones that, that the actual motor, the one that you see that comes outside, the diameter of that motor is a 15 millimeter diameter. If you go to a full size servo, you will notice that, you know what the diameter is on the motor? 15 millimeters. So we have the same diameter motors. So the diameter is the one that uh, determines the distance for the leverage of the of the movement. So it has the same kind of torque, you know. Obviously, if it's shorter, it's going to have a little bit less, but still, you know, those uh, mini servos are not, uh, you know, they have power. They are, you can easily fly uh, any helicopter. Like for instance, my, my dynamic that I fly at all kind of different head speed and crazy it also has a small ones, you know, mini, mini servos. So if you're concerned about that, don't, don't be concerned. See, everything, even carbon and, and metal, see, they comes uh, already assembled. So, and then the, the screws to mount them together, you know. Um, this one is the, the, uh, the one for the main shaft. Again, that's a new, beautiful part. These things, you know, it's some pretty stuff, you know. See, no machining marks, perfect finish. I mean, somebody said something about roundness. That's like, are you crazy? <laughs> Look at this thing. Uh, perfect. 20.98, 20 20 anywhere you go, it's perfect, you know. It's just fantastic uh, quality kit yeah. no matter where you go same thing see fantastic really good quality stuff so here okay and uh, spacers the supersonic the supersonic uh, canopy mounts and this here is, by the way, I'm going to take the moment and see what is the actual distance. So, yeah, this one is also, uh, if you are using, like I use, I use uh, on all the front uh, canopies, I use our, so it's 22. So if you were, if you want to get the front ones to be the magnetic ones that we sell uh, at Dexcar, you got to get the 22 ones, which is the same one that I have on the other, on the on the 5.5 and on the dynamic i think it's too and the 5.8 this is the uh the one that locks the the battery tray also beautiful parts you know uh let's see oh this is the block that is used to put the the um uh this uh, um lock nuts inside the boom the boom see so you slide this thing in and it brings the the lock nut to the place where it needs to be done to, to be uh, placed and you use the actual uh, um, push rod you put it on one of these holes and you slide it in and you put it wherever you need and then you pull it out 
So this is very easy to install and, and uninstall uh, this uh, push rod guys, which by the way, they go like this. You can, you can get them out like that. So you slide them in and then turn it. So that's the, the, the rod. These are, uh, this is something that is uh, uh, interesting about the, the, the trunk kits is that they have this shaped um, uh, boom clamps. And what I like about it is that it's, it wraps around, right? And it's, there's a single point here and it's 45 degrees. So when you uh, use a wrench, it's in a 45 degree angle. But what I like when it's like that is like it wraps around and holds it really hard, you know? They also increase the distance here to make it, you know, make it more, you can apply more pressure. And uh, so this is good. Let's see. Uh, these are the sacrificial uh, spacers. These things break in crashes. So the, the, the uh, lower frames kind of uh, it's remain like in a box and these ones break and the upper frame doesn't. So, so it, it breaks most of this and this is sacrificial. So you can just simply get some more of that and you usually don't break the frames, neither the bottom or the top ones. These are the uh, threaded uh, uh, ends for the uh, tail push rod, okay? More uh, balls. These are spacers for the servos. I think it's for the tail servo, probably. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, these are the sliding rails for the uh, battery the battery trays. They're a bell ring. They slide very smoothly, very, very smooth. In, and then click, they click with this thing and then very solid, like click, you know, really nice. Uh, these are the the uh, the um, uh, stiffeners for these are you know solid aluminum. They actually made these ones uh, solid uh, for the uh, motor, you know. So these ones uh, are the ones that you see the slide the sliding slot here. So you can adjust the pinion contact. By the way, just so you guys uh, know, I use full contact in all my helis and for decades without any problem that there's no actual need between you know there's need when you have metal against metal and the, the, you need the lubrication to work and all that but when it's a uh, dead ring against metal you don't really need that you don't need, really need any any space between them this is for the landing gear this is the landing gear box uh, these are the, the space frame spacers that have the, the holes for the cross members, you know, the carbon cross members. Uh, oh, this is awesome too. They came with, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this one. These are the automatic tensioners, okay? So what you have here is, here you have, as you can see, one uh, spring and a set screw. So what happens is that you put it in the heli, right? And then if you apply more pressure here, this thing comes out more, you know, the, the, the spring, and applies more pressure, okay? So this is a very simple, but very effective way to have uh, constant uh, um, tension on the, on the spring, on the, I'm sorry, on the, on the belt, uh, because it's spring loaded and you can adjust the tension here. Super nice, super easy to work with it. And that's, uh, that comes now standard with these things. Um, this is uh, the uh, uh, look at look at look at this uh, pinion because of of the way that uh, thing is massive. Look at the the width of that. Look at that. It's very very large. And uh, so you have a lot of uh, contact area, and that diminishes or lowers the force between them. They use a very uh, special alloy because this is actually a, a, a hardened uh, aluminum that has a coat. It's like um, the same coat, that, a similar coat that they use on the on the uh, drills and and uh, mill bits uh, that prevents uh, wear. You know, that's why these things, even though they are light, they last forever. You know, this this is something that I really like about the their their opinions is there's very advanced very nice and i can see it's, it's massive you know so okay these are the uh frames uh, where you put the you know the two uh frames that where you put the servos you know up and down 
uh, and uh, and the see the last bag. Here are some for with a, a carbon spacer for the uh, tail servo, I would assume probably, and uh, some uh, I don't know some shims here or something. And here's the tail. And again, see how I don't have to be figuring out what screw goes where or something. Everything is already pre-assembled from factory, which uh, guarantees that you have all the parts, that you're not missing any part, and it's pre-assembled so you can check fit and function, you know? And uh, again, look at the quality of the things, you know? It's just gorgeous stuff, super high quality. Love the way the things. So it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a freaking Rolls, you know? It's really, 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 really good quality. And that's one of the things that I love about these uh, helicopters, you know? It's like when you're building them, it's, it's a pleasure, you know? And um, yeah, that uh, very, very, I mean, these things are so smooth. And uh, this, as, as you can see, they have the same coating on these aluminum parts, so they don't wear either. You know, it's it's pretty awesome. This this is a very advanced uh, coating that they're using on these aluminum parts. Whenever they have to protect them from, from wear, they have that. And uh, it's very easy to service and to to uh, fix. And uh, it has, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. I love those things. You know, I really like those. Uh, the, the way they design the thing. So I think that's it. That's the last one. And you know, this is the only other thing that, that we have here. That's the um, the skits for the landing skits. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll do the, uh, the uh, building video soon. Okay. All right. Uh, don't forget to click on, on, on uh, the subscribe button and also touch this um, notification so you can get the notification for all the, the videos okay all right see you guys bye bye